Are you swooning over the brand new Range Rover, Bugatti, or Rolls Royce? As much as you might love them, they can only go into production after passing a number of safety checks. Manufacturers must pay more for inspections and safety checks to ensure their car passes the crash test. Here are the top 10 most expensive car crash tests of all time. Number 1. Range Rover Velar 5-star Euro in-cap rating The Range Rover Velar is designed to fill the space between the Range Rover Sport and Range Rover Evoque. With a strong 376-horsepower V6 engine and a large cabinet, it runs smoothly and successfully transports its passengers in opulent, cutting-edge comfort. The Range Rover Velar from Land Rover boasts a 5-star Euro in-cap certification, making it one of the safest SUVs on the market. The Velar outperformed the Discovery with scores of 93% for adult occupant protection, 85% for child occupant protection, 74% for pedestrian protection, and 72% for assistance systems. Due to its advanced capabilities in preventing crashes and passing the frontal offset test, it received a flawless score in crash protection evaluations. Neither the passenger dummy nor the passenger area sustained any serious damage as a result of the collision. Even in the harder side pole impact test, the Range Rover received a flawless score. Additionally, the emergency braking system effectively avoided collisions at almost all of the speed tests. That is what is meant by safety and security. Number 9. Audi Q8 – 5-star Euro in-cap rating Forward collision warning, automated emergency braking, and blind spot monitoring are just a few of the standard safety features you might expect to find in a vehicle nowadays. The Audi Q8 is technically and technologically identical to the Audi Q7. The car benefits from keeping the same safety features as the model from the previous year. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration awarded the 2021 Audi Q8 the highest crashworthiness rating of 5 stars. In terms of the actual results, the Q8 did exceptionally well, earning a 93% rating in the adult occupancy category, 35.3 out of 38 points, and an 87% rating in the child occupancy area, 43 of 49 points. The Q8 received a grade of 71% for vulnerable road users, 34.5 out of 48, and 73% for safety aid systems, 9.5 out of 13 points. Additionally, the automobile scored flawless in each of the side crash tests categories and practically perfect in the frontal offset and rollover tests. Excellent ratings for occupant safety roof strength and front accident prevention system examinations against other vehicles and pedestrians are indicated by an IIHS top safety selection. Number 8. Tesla Model S 5-star Euro in-cap rating Every single 2014 Tesla model gets a flawless safety rating. The Model S received the highest possible results overall in the NHTSA's independent testing that year. Each evaluation receives the highest possible rating of 5 stars. Due to the deep aluminum extrusions in the car's side rail and the absence of a large fuel-powered engine block, the Model S's crumple zone was enlarged, which improved its performance in the test. Even before the pole made contact with any passengers, the risk of a rollover in this car during the side pull test with minimum impact on the body of the vehicle was 5.7%. Vin Diesel is always there when you need him in an action-packed movie, so we'd love to see a Tesla tumbler with him. Number 7. Porsche Taycan 5-star Euro in-cap rating The Porsche Taycan is a beautiful sports sedan that has excellent performance. It is Porsche's first electric car and received the highest grade from Euro in-cap. Due to the head constraints and front seat's insufficient ability to prevent whiplash injuries, it only obtained a moderate rating in the field of rear-end collisions. The front frontal offset testing also revealed different difficulties injuries to young passengers, in particular are a concern with the exception of the neck in the back seats. For a situation in real life, every essential component was sufficiently shielded. 
this accident could indicate a fatal fault that makes you jittery. On side barrier tests, the Porsche Taycan received a flawless score of 100. Collisions with bicyclists, pedestrians, and other vehicles were successfully averted as a result of the addition of a passenger identification system with an autonomous emergency brake. Number 6. Mercedes-Benz G-Class 5-Star Euro in-cap rating The 2020 G-Class has not yet undergone NHTSA and IIHS crash tests. But in 2019, Euro NCAP evaluated the model and gave it the highest possible rating of five stars. The G-Class was found to be safe for both side pole impact and side barrier testing, with all crucial body parts of the occupant being effectively protected by the automatic emergency braking, standard in the G-Class just like it is in the current generation. Even while the car is moving at highway speeds, it still functions. The automatic lane-keeping technology successfully avoided risky situations like unintended lane departure. Unfortunately, the driver's seat chest compression, frontal offset, and full side barrier test were unsatisfactory. Number 5. Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG No Euro in-cap rating even by today's standards, the SLS AMG's 6.2-liter V8 engine generates 583 horsepower, making it a high-speed vehicle. The NHTSA and the IIHS have not crash-tested it, unlike many other high-end vehicles there, and the European New Car Assessment Program has not even given it a safety rating. However, videos of a crash test are available online demonstrating that the long, streamlined hood does an impressive job of absorbing the force of impact. Additionally, a rollover test on an upside-down SLS AMG was conducted to see if the gull wing would survive. The doors would open automatically in the event of a rollover, allowing occupants to exit the vehicle safely. Number 4. Lamborghini Murcielago No Euro in cap rating Early November 2010 marked the beginning of Murcielago production by Lamborghini. Due to the fact that many high-end vehicles, including the Murcielago, don't receive their crash test data, there is no NHTSA, IIHS, or Euro NCAP crash test rating available. Except for the steel doors and top, this car's body is made entirely of the final generation of Murcielago carbon fiber. The car performed admirably in a frontal offset test in which it was solely dependent on the front hood and frame to deflect the impact due to the absence of an engine up front. On impact, the crumple zone was shattered, but the interior was unharmed. Number 3. Bugatti Veyron Tests conducted in-house electronically by Bugatti a series of collision tests will be performed on several car models to simulate the wear and tear of regular driving. For obvious reasons, multiple crashes are needed to get accurate findings. It is incomprehensible that such a big amount of money would have been wasted if the Bugatti Veyron had not been subjected to crash tests by the NHTSA, the IIHS in the United States, or Euro NCAP in Europe. Nevertheless, there is a brilliant technique to hack the test system as opposed to destroying the fleet of two million Bugattis. One unit is used for testing after which it is painstakingly restored so that it can be utilized the following year. That will stop the company from continually depreciating its expensive vehicles and mishaps. For the purpose of simulating and analyzing collisions, Bugatti has crash simulation software. Even while digital testing may run into the thousands of dollars, it is still less expensive than wrecking a Veyron. Number 2. Koenigsegg Regera conducted in-house by Koenigsegg. It would take approximately a dozen automobiles to gather enough information for thorough ratings if automakers were willing to submit their products to crash tests. That indicates that 12 vehicles will end up in the junkyard. Koenigsegg is a tiny car maker that produces only a dozen cars annually, so obviously that's not a wise financial decision. Before sending a test car in for servicing, Koenigsegg never runs more than one vehicle through its paces at once. In comparison to the chassis and other components, the external panels receive the most abuse yet can be quickly and inexpensively replaced. Only Koenigsegg can guarantee the chassis' dependability in any circumstance. 
NHTSA, Euro, and CAP safety ratings, however, are not readily available. Number 1. Pagani Huayra Conducted in-house by Pagani The Pagani Huayra has undeniable visual allure but its V12 engine 791 horsepower capacity is truly astounding. The vehicle hasn't undergone any IIHS, NHTSA, or Euro NCAP crash tests because Pagani is exempt from those tests in a fictitious test drive. The company claims that a Pagani Herrera prototype crashed unintentionally close to a Falterbach in Germany. Contrarily, the central monocoque performs so effectively that both the driver and passenger survived the collision. The Pagani Herrera construction has undergone unharmed crash tests that have been captured on camera and posted online, proving that it can withstand forces that would otherwise crack standard carbon fiber. That's it from today's video. I hope you enjoyed the content of the video. If you do, show some love, hit that like button, and remember to subscribe to our channel so that you can experience our excellent and informative videos.